the baby's name is really Brooklyn, y'all. Like, the baby's name is really Bro Like, she's not lying. Are you really processing what you're saying? Why don't you be my baby? Ah, I want you in my world. You should just be my lady. Listen to my proposition. What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Brooklyn, and I'm back with another show, y'all, today. I'm back with a highly 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 requested video y'all if you don't know about the best friend the ex best friend drama and you don't know about the ex boyfriend drama and you're new to the channel and you're like who is this girl what is she talking about who your ex best friend what yeah your... listen I'm gonna have all the links in the description of all the videos that you need to watch before this one okay go watch those videos and then come watch this video. But if you do know the T, the ex best friend T, and you already know what's up, you've come to the right place, okay? Now, the last incident that we had with Leah, Little Miss Leah, was when I was in LA, um, she hit me up and she said that she wanted to link up. She stood me up at Starbucks and said that basically a lot was going on later on she sent a picture of a broken nail and basically said that my ex was didn't want her to hit didn't want her to link up with me so he got physical with her we later on boom found that same broken nail on instagram uh, a totally different girl that doesn't even know who Leah is so we now know that that is that was not the truth so after that we had decided okay we're just gonna leave this alone the Leah situation I thought we were gonna leave it alone are we leaving it alone no so <laughs> I just gotta laugh cuz it just be making me it, I just be yeah I just gotta laugh sometimes so fast forward to now right so all of that happened a few months ago, like a month ago, month and a half ago, two months ago, something like along that line. So that happened then when I was in LA. Now fast forward to now, right? Leah had her baby. So I didn't know when she has her baby. I don't follow her on any social medias or anything like that. And she sent me a message that I haven't even read yet. Cause when, once I saw it, I was just like, yo, I'm just gonna wait until here. All I saw was the name. So we're gonna read this message together and we're just gonna get into the, we're just gonna get, I don't even know where to start with this video cause I'm just like, it's so everywhere and all around. I'm just like, where do we even start? But we're gonna text her today and see if we can find some closure and just figure out her purpose in all of this. After all this time, was it like, why? All right y'all, so a few days ago, Leah messaged me and she said, hey B, I know I'm the last person you probably want to speak to right now. I felt the least I could do was let you know I had my baby girl June 15th. Remember when we first met and I told you I always wanted to name my daughter Brooklyn? Well, I didn't want that to change just because of what happened with us. Interesting. Before we both met you, I genuinely didn't think Jesus was real. And even though I have done so much wrong, you taught me that Jesus forgives. Well, that's nice. And he does forgive y'all, he does. That's why I have to forgive, okay? During my delivery, I lost a lot of blood. I needed a blood transfusion, dang. And honestly, the doctor said it's a miracle that I lived. Wow, okay. I thought I was going to die. I remember praying to Jesus the way you taught me to and I told God that I was sorry for all the wrong I've done and if he kept me alive for my daughter, I promised I would be a better person and follow him from now on. Wow. That's good. And I promise you, I literally felt this warm feeling surround me and the bleeding stopped. Wow. Well, Jesus is a healer. We know that, right? Um, the doctor couldn't figure out how it happened. There's so much to the story, but I would just like to apologize from the bottom of my heart for everything. Call me tonight when you're free. And also, here's a picture of Brooklyn. We wanted to spell her name like yours. Wow. Brooklyn Nicole. The baby's beautiful. Um, um, sorry, y'all. That was a lot. I um, I'm trying to I'm trying to process. 
I'm trying to process everything. Um. Okay. Um. Okay. Yeah. So. Um. Sorry. I'm. I'm really trying to process this right now. So there's a few things in here. Let me just start off with Jesus because that's the first thing. I think that that's amazing. When I met Leah, she was not a Christian and I like, I was raised in a Christian family. Everybody knows that. But not only that, I had my own experiences. I went through times where I was like, I didn't want to believe in God and I, not believe in God, but I didn't want to follow Jesus. And I went through times where I was like head over heels, like, oh my God, yes, Jesus, like, and so I told God, I said, yo, I want to find you for myself. Like, I don't want to just be a Christian because my parents are Christians. So you prove it to me. So I used to ask God to do so many things, like just like little things that I know couldn't happen. Like, I would be like, okay, Jesus, if you're real, then I need $134 and because I need to go here. Da, 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 da. And it would literally be a random person come up to me and be like, hey, um, can you babysit my kid? And I'd be like or not a random person but like a family member or something that didn't know anything about what was going on and be like hey I need a hundred um I'll give you a hundred thirty four dollars like it was weird like God would just do so many weird things like I would be like okay Lord if you're real let me see so and so walking down the street on this street today and it would happen like I would just ask him so many things and then I would ask him for feelings like I'd be like okay God if you're real let this happen or I would pray like in my own time about certain things like say I pray for things like creativity like I'm like Lord I feel like I lost all my creativity and then when I would go to church on Sunday a random person I've never met before would walk up to me and say God is restoring your creativity he said he's giving you all your creativity back and the person wouldn't even know me and I wouldn't even have told anybody so like I learned God for myself and once I learned God for myself I know I've always wanted people to know like I'm never going to pressure anybody into believing into God, but I feel that before you say he's not real, you should give him a chance and and giving him a chance, have a real true moment in your private time and be like, Jesus, if you're real, then show me like, I, I don't know if you are, and I don't know what to believe. So I just want you to show me in a way that I can't deny it. And that's what I would tell all my friends to do. So anyway, um, I'll, I'll just say, I just talked for a long time, but I'll just say that I feel touched by what she said about, you know, she remembers how I told her to pray and things like that. Cause that's really dope. And I'm, I'm so grateful cause I believe that Jesus can heal you. And if you're bleeding, you're dying and you ask God to help you. I believe that he genuinely can help you. So I think that that's amazing that she called on God and she had that personal encounter and experience with Jesus. I think that's dope. Um, but to get on to other things, as far as naming her baby, my name, um, I'm not sure how I feel about that. Like, I think that, uh, I'm not sure how I feel because I feel like it would be different if we just got into a fight and we stopped being best friends. But the fact that you cheated with my ex-boyfriend, my first love. Like, you know that one guy that you're head over heels for and you're just like, oh my God, he's the one, oh my God. He makes you feel all those feelings you've never felt before. And the fact that you cheated with him and not only that, you had a baby now with him and now you named the baby me, I find it a bit creepy. I'm not gonna lie. I find it a bit weird. And I get it that Brooklyn is a universal name and people can name their child whatever they want. I get it. But it's like, the, I spell we spelled the name after you it's just a weird um oh what is it it's like a weird something's going on i don't it's like her and my ex like i just feel like they're a bit off like i'm just not like and i love everybody i genuinely do y'all know that but i just feel like something is off with that because if they're like both coming to a conclusion like, hey, I cheated on Brooke. Hey, I'm the one that made you cheat. Or, hey, I was her ex-best friend and I, um, I betrayed her. Yeah, let's, let's come together, have a baby and name the baby Brooklyn. I don't really see the, 
the sense in that. But, I mean, I'm appreciative. So, yeah, I don't know. It's a bit off to me, y'all. But we're going to message her today and we're just going to see where her head is and we're just going to see where her head is. All right, y'all, boom. So I just messaged her and I said, wow, I'm very grateful to God that you're okay. Prayer definitely works, but honestly, I'm a bit confused about the name. It's a bit weird that after everything, you would name your daughter after me. I'm not sure how to feel about that. And that's genuine and real, y'all. Like, I just, honestly, I'm speechless. I don't know. Like, I know I'm usually, like, going ham with these videos, but I'm just honestly really just confused about this. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. So, she responded, y'all. So, she said, here we go. So, she said, yes, it does. Um, honestly, D and I feel like you were a big part of both of our lives that we equally messed up and we wanted to do something to make it right. This is a lot. Um, you know, um, yeah, I, I, it's so hard for me because I have forgiven. Like I had to, I really asked God to like help me forgive them too for what they did. So I have forgiven them, but I just personally don't think that naming a baby after me makes it right. A baby that has come by the product of a heartbreak that took me a very long time to get over. You know what I mean? Like, it's like, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Y'all tell me what y'all think in the comments. But for me, I kind of feel like you doing that is like a slap in my face to name your child after me because I feel like it's kind of like basically saying, oh, look, look, and I know that she probably doesn't mean it like this, but I'm saying this is how it feels. It feels like, okay, yeah, I took your man and I had his baby. Oh, and now I'm going to give the baby your name. <laughs> ha ha, ha ha ha. Yeah. I feel like it's like a tease. Like it's like everybody knows that I want a real relationship like I want to get married and have kids and that's something that I love and the fact that you named your kid after me and it's from my first love like the first guy I've ever really really truly loved that is a bit weird and off to me and I don't really think like you naming your kid after me is not making it right you naming your kid after me is making it worse because i'm trying to move on with my life and not think about y'all and every single time i start moving on with my life then boom i have you in the corner bringing up something and now i gotta think about the fact that your kid you're running around and calling your kid my name and not only that not only that y'all the fact that he's okay with it bruh this Negro cheated on, this man cheated on me with my best friend. And they both come together and agree, hmm, hey, we should name the baby Brooklyn. Oh, yeah, that's a great, fantastic, swell idea. Yeah, let's do it. Brooklyn Nicole, what's her name? Brooklyn Nicole. Like, what? Bruh. All right, so I just messaged her back, right? And I said... I'm not sure how that's making it right. It honestly feels like a reminder of what was done. It feels like a slap in my face, honestly. Like you guys are playing with me. Because it does. Look, if you want to make something right, you made it right with God. You said that you asked, you told God that you were going to give your life to him and everything like that. Honestly, that's enough for me. I'm good with that. Like, I don't really need you to name your child after me. So she messaged back, y'all. So she says... Brooke, sorry my mood is down because I'm just honestly trying to process this. She says, Brooke, how can you not see this as a compliment? We are both saying we messed up and you were a good part of our lives and we want to remember that and honor that. And I, oh. I gotta block myself, y'all. Like, I gotta block... Lock myself because it doesn't make sense. Make it make, bro, make it make sense. Make it make sense. Make it make sense. Make it make sense. Make it, you name your child, the child of a cheater that cheated on me specifically is now named after me. Make it make sense, bro. Okay, 
So this is, this is why I don't take it as a compliment. This is why I don't take it as you honoring me. I understand, I'm a very understanding person. Let's just say that. I'm probably way too understanding most times. But this, I don't understand. I'm sorry. Very confused, okay? Um, you're saying I was a good part of your life. I wasn't that good of a part of your life. If I was that good of a part of your life, you would have thought twice about messing with the person that I loved. That's number one. If I was a good part of your life, you would have wanted to keep me in your life as your best friend and you would have thought to myself, hey, if I do something with her boyfriend, I'm probably going to lose this friendship. So the fact that you did it, to me, it feels like I wasn't that good of an of an addition to your life because if I were you would be too scared to lose me or you would value our relationship enough that you wouldn't do something like that that ultimately in that tarnished it like so the reason why I'm saying it's like a slap in my face is it's because it's kind of like you want to remind it this is how it comes off it's like somebody wanting to remind you like hey look I got him and I had a baby with him hey what are you doing? You're just sitting there by yourself. You don't have any kids. You're not married. You don't have a ring. No, I don't need you to remind me about this constantly by naming your child after me and saying that you're doing it to make it right. You're not doing it to make it right. You're you're doing it to stay relevant or to try to stay relevant and to throw it in my face and remind me what happened. I don't want to think about y'all. I am good without y'all. I genuinely don't have no more feelings there, but I just feel like it's disrespectful. I would never do that to somebody. And then and then it's like, if yes, now granted, in her defense, she always said that she wanted to name her child Brooklyn. Cool, I get it. Boom, that's awesome. Great. Hey, have at it. But why name, why did, why couldn't you just spell it like the Brooklyn Bridge? Why did you have to spell it like my name with an E and two N's? Why not just an E and then one N or three N's or seven N's? I don't know, but why did you have to name? Oh, and we're gonna name the baby um, the way that you, we're gonna spell the baby's name the way that you spell it. What? That's not weird at all. Like, I'm about to end this because I feel like this conversation needs to be had off camera because it's starting to, uh, spark up a few questions and a few uh feelings in me that i feel like i need to deal with off camera so let me just end this hold on all right y'all so i just said yeah no that's not honoring me are you being serious right now i'm sorry i just have to ask i just gotta know like is this is this a real thing or are we are you playing around like i just need to know boom here we go y'all okay so she, i feel like i need my blockers on because i don't even know what she's about to say but just from the last comment I'm just uh, honestly all right let's see so she says Brooke why would I send you a picture of my baby if I wasn't being serious D told me D told me he asked you to be the godmother I thought you were understanding and accepted things the way they are now <sighs> how did I know what are you kidding me do are you reading this are you on drugs after the baby? Do they have you on some type of, like, I don't know, prenatal, I mean, postnatal drug or something for the baby? Do they have you on drugs now? Did you get a C-section? Like, what do you think you're saying to me? What? Are you listening? Are, are you reading it back? Or are you just sending the draft? Are you rereading everything that you're saying? Are you really processing what you're saying? Please put yourself in my shoes. What? What is wrong with Pete, bro? Please, somebody tell me. What, why would you think? Okay, yes. Y'all remember the video where he asked me to be the godmother? First of all, number one, I thought he was playing. Number two, because I, I can't take you seriously, really, truly asking me this. Number two, why would you think I'm so confused I'm so confused I'm so confused bro I'm so confused and those other videos D wasn't even over me he was like literally flirting with me and saying that he would <sighs> this is 
this got to be a joke because this doesn't make sense. I thought you were understanding and accepting of the ways that things are now. I accepted that you did me dirty. I accepted that the that the my first love had a baby with my best friend. I accepted all these things. But I don't know why you're trying to make this like a triangle. You're trying to make this like a love triangle or something. It's not going to be that. No, it's like, why do y'all not respect me? Am I too nice that people feel that they can start to run all over me? Is, is that what it is? Because why would you think, even bringing up the godmother thing is literally a slap in my face. What are you talking about? I never said I was going to be this. Sh I have a, I have two goddaughters. Number one, I don't need another one from my ex boyfriend. That is weird. That's like me getting married and my first kid. No, not even me getting married. Imagine me having my first kid. I named the kid after my ex, and then not only that, I then ask him to be the god. Like what? Make it make sense, bro. Make it make sense. Like, I'm not even trying to get upset, but it just doesn't make sense. And this is the crazy thing. Before I even started the video, obviously, I didn't read the whole message. I literally said, I'm going to save it until I make the video. So I didn't, le I didn't read the message. I just saw the Brooklyn Nicole. So, I'm like, oh, hold up. I go on Instagram. I mean, I, not on Instagram. I go on Facebook, right? Because I'm like, yo, she's lying. Like, she got to be lying. She's lied too many times. So, I go on, on um, Facebook. I don't even use Facebook. This is how you know. And I went to her family, like her mom and everything like that. I went to their post and everything to see if they posted a baby. Of course they posted a baby, right? First grandchild. Cool. Boom. The baby's name is really Brooklyn, y'all. Like, the baby's name is really Brooklyn. Like, she's not lying. Like, it's on her mom's page. Like, it's on his mom's page. And his sister's page. Like, the baby's really, like, they really, like, they're being serious. Somehow, this makes sense in their mind. Like, yeah, no. Like being like this so i'm gonna go pray for a second and i'm gonna get myself together and allow not allow uh frustration because i'm not an angry person i usually get sad so the fact that i feel riled up right now this is not even like my character so i'm gonna go and pray and ask jesus to help me real quick and i'm gonna just see y'all in the next video because i'm just confused about all of this and i feel like this needs to be addressed off camera because at this point it's weird what why don't you be my baby I want you in my world, you should just be my lady Listen to my proposition, 